ladies and gentlemen, you know, I've been talking about the um, events that will be going on in the heavens. And one of the first ones is about to come up in just a few weeks. And that is the super blood wolf moon. And this super blood moon will be seen all over North America. So hopefully it won't be so overcast that you won't be able to see it. So this came out in the Daily Mail. Get ready for the super blood wolf moon. First full moon of the new year will come with a solar, I'm sorry, not solar, lunar eclipse and appear amazingly close to Earth. And if you know what the super moons look like, they are a lot larger. You know, the appearance of them is a lot larger in the sky than your normal moon. So this is going to happen between January 20th and January 21st. So after all of these events, it's always major changes that take place. And being that there's so many events coming up in 2019, it is going to be, <laughs> it's going to be an unbelievable year coming up. Hopefully a real good one for us. Well, for everybody else, oh well. The first full moon of 2019 is sure to be a spectacular sight. On the night of January 20th through 21st, the first full moon will coincide with a total lunar eclipse, which will cause Earth's satellite to take on an eerie red glow in an effect that comes to be known as the blood moon. At the same time, the moon will sit at least the closest point to the Earth in its orbit when it appears massive in the night sky. And I've seen many of those moons, in fact, several of them um, over the last years. And when it's clear enough to see the moon, it is huge. <laughs> it is almost like it's right next to the Earth. It's so close. It will make for a striking combination of both a supermoon and the blood moon and marks the last total lunar eclipse we will see until 2021. Okay, so from start to finish, the umbral lunar eclipse will last just over three and a half hours with totality accounting for roughly an hour of this time, according to Earth sky. This is when the moon sits in the shadow of our planet, taking on a reddish hue as a result of light shattering through Earth's atmosphere. The next total lunar eclipse come around May 26, 2021. The nighttime eclipse or blood moon will be visible in many parts of the world, including all of North America. So it don't matter where you live in the country, you should see this as long as your skies are, you know, clear. And part of Europe and Africa, according to time and date. That is amazing. So this thing is going to be seen across continents. Other regions, including the Middle East and the rest of Africa, will be able to catch a glimpse of a partial eclipse at moonset. That should mean a lot. You're, you're talking about the majority of the earth will be able to see this event. The majority. That's amazing. That's amazing. It will not be visible in Australia and East Asia. As January's full moon is already known as the wolf moon, the upcoming alignment of phenomena has made next month's event sounds partially ominous. Um, and as you can see in the skies, you can see um, 
a nighttime full moon and look like this one. This is, of course, is an older picture. So they're just going over what this stuff is. Um, already people have taken to calling it the super blood wolf moon among other variations. While partial eclipses will take place before and after totality, when the moon is completely in shadow, the total eclipse itself will last just over an hour. This is all dependent on where the moon falls within Earth's shadow, um, Earth sky notes. So they're just showing you the alignment of the moon, the earth and the sun. The moon will pass through the northern half of the earth's shadow um, to present a total eclipse for a period of 62 minutes, explains Bruce Mugler in a post for Earth Sky. However, if the moon would only travel more deeply into the Earth's shadow, uh, it result in an even longer total e lunar eclipse. Okay. So what I will do, I will leave the article so you can look at it and just mark your calendar or add in your phones because I know many of you are on smartphones, just add that date in your smartphone so you don't miss this event. I'm just praying that I'll be able to look up and see it because I would love to be able to see this blood moon being that it is also a super moon. So I definitely want to see this and I will do reminders leading up to it so you won't forget. But please tell me what you think. You know, I know after the last blood moon, I'm telling you spiritually, I could tell something was different. I felt different. I physically felt different. And believe me, I think it's supposed to be that way. I think it's supposed to heighten our spirituality. You know, a lot of people believe that. But whether you do or not, I guess that's all up to you. But Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. I'll definitely be watching out for this. In fact, I look forward to it. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.